Greetings, gamers. Okay, we are back today because Gamescom happened and KOF released a pretty lengthy trailer. But before we get into that, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can know when I drop. Now, let's get on to that trailer. Shatter all expectations. やっぱり都会はすごいね。ヘッドフォンやろう。倒せるってのは何だって意味だ。いいか、私はな。リーダーは私だからな。KO web Fifteen. Thirty-nine fighters get in the ring. Are you ready? Okay, come on. Or, talk up to me. Characters that define the series. Ben's favorites return from the grave. Characters key to the unfolding events. And heroes from all the KOF sagas return for KOF 15. Okay, Shin-chan. Round one, ready, go! The classic three-on-three -three team battle system returns! New visuals and gameplay systems deliver a new level of speed and excitement! Shatter Strike defends against and counters enemy attacks! Max Mode unleashes your offensive potential! Max Mode Quick cancels attacks and extends your combo! Execute rush combos with simple button presses! Thrilling special moves raise the fight to even higher levels of height! The most comprehensive battle system in KOF history is here! Unravel the mysteries of the ongoing KOF saga in story mode! As the spotlight shines on the newly opened KOF tournament, a dormant force awakens. The fates of many intertwine as the Earth heads towards destruction. A climax beyond all expectation awaits you. Rollback Netcode empowers fighters to take their skills to the next level! Choose how you want to play with a variety of battle modes. In Draft versus Mode, the battle starts from character selection. Practice your moves in Training Mode, available online as well. Or put your combo skills to the test in Trial Mode. The Gallery Mode features character artwork and sound clips, as well as a special animated short by world-renowned director Masami Obari. The newly added DJ station features over 300 hit SNK songs focused on the KOF series. Put on your favorite track while you bust some heads. The February 17th, 2022! The Deluxe Edition comes with a DLC pass that contains six future DLC characters. Early purchases include the DLC costume, Garo, Mark of the Wolves, Terry. 
Additionally, digital-only purchases include the DLC costume, Classic Leona. Wow. Wow. And wow. Okay, let me explain. The graphics look way better than they ever look. Even the CG scenes look impressive. Job well done on the visuals. Oh man, you guys are killing it on the visuals. Can we stop showing Shune? I mean, shit. We get to see the two new female characters in motion. Holy hell, Ash looks great. Shune's rival looks way better than him. <laughs> and that other lady, she looks really interesting. Okay, second wow. The battle system explained. I'm definitely gonna have fun with the Shatter Strike. I used to call it a blowback in my videos if you've watched the previous ones. And we have Rollback Neck Cold. I am so happy. So happy. And now, this is another interesting one. Online training mode. Oh man, now that has me really happy. I, I would love to just go and spar with someone and I always wanted to do that and not just have to fight them in rank or casual. And did I mention this game looks so damn clean? Ooh, looks so damn clean. And we got costumes already. I told y'all back in my video when we covered Terry and I was hoping for this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. He looks sexy as shit. Ooh, Top Gun. I'm comfortable with myself. Too funny at Leona, but I appreciate you sending us the info, SNK. I really do. I actually appreciate that. Okay, now the, huh? Yo, 39 characters? Yo, what the hell is that? That means there's seven characters left. Oh my god. And that's me including Hydern, who was in the cover art. And I'm also including the the mysterious lady who is not in the character roster from within the trailer. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is smelling like Street Fighter V strategy. Whereas they had what, like 13 characters at launch or some shit. 39 is KOF's version of 13, so that ain't great but you know what i will say this though kof has a tendency to really make you play the game story mode you'll get a character maybe one or two correct me if i'm not but i do believe antonov and verse were characters that were in game there was no dlc window behind them you just had to beat the game and then they popped up are my expectations shattered i would have to say it was knocking on the window but it didn't you didn't break through you know it was it was annoying, it was really annoying, but you didn't break through. You, you didn't, you put a little crack in, just a little crack. I think this is a good start, visually. They always got complaints. KOF 14 got so many memes about how goofy and ugly the characters look. I mean, Andy Bogart is all I'm gonna say. All right, guys, that's all I got. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Who are your seven characters on your roster? And now the pre-order is out there, so uh, you're gonna go ahead and get it? Let's start that conversation below.